Ah, you're right here. I must let him near. Ernie has slow me down here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did we pay for that water? Of course we did. It was on the rack thing underneath the cart. Well, it's not on this receipt. Daddy, you stole that water. <laughs> I stole nothing. I, it was an honest mistake. I'll, I'll pay for it next time. Fine, but until then, you are not to drink it. <laughs> Carol, may I remind you that I am not the one who nibbles her way through the aisles. Please, everyone samples the grapes. And that bag of Oreos was already open. Hi, guys. Charlie. Charlie, you look like you, you've just come from a funeral. You know, there's something about death that seems almost sad. <laughs> Charlie, who, who died? Oh, this woman who used to take cruises on my ship, Martina Van Dam. The perfume heiress from Belgium? Belgium? The Waffle Place? <laughs> I can't believe that you knew Martina Van Dam. I mean, she was a legend. No, oh, she was a real person. <laughs> I just came from the reading of the will. It was very touching, especially when they told me I'm a millionaire. Well, I'll be going now. Ta-ta. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 are you saying that this woman left you a million smackers, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> they already wired it to my bank account. Charlie, wait a second. Why would a woman like Martina Van Dam leave you that kind of money? I used to play with her schnauzer. <laughs> I was the only one she trusted with little Rasputin. The point is, I'm wealthy. Do you know what that means? What? Really, really rich. Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. How can it be 90 degrees in February? Global warming, Sophia. The ozone layer is being depleted at a staggering rate. The human race is in danger of being incinerated. You say the next five years? Oh, no, honey, it won't happen that fast. Then what do I care? Carol, Carol, look at this. Local man, beneficiary of heiress's will, Miami resident Charles Dietz, Martina Van Dam, undisclosed amount. Who, Charlie? A million dollars, Sophia. Harry! <laughs> you gotta help me, everybody's after me. Charlie, you know, you're a very attractive man. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Charlie, come over here. Listen, what is this? What, what's, what's wrong? Oh, the phone keeps ringing. People are banging on my door. They all want my money, Harry. How'd they find me? How? There's an article in the paper. Hmm. Somebody at that press conference I gave must have leaked it to a reporter. And it didn't occur to you that every crackpot in town would be after you with get-rich-quick schemes? Oh. You mean, like, spam on a rope? <laughs> Charlie, tell me you didn't invest in that. Oh, no, of course not. I went for the self-cleaning underwear. Charlie, look, why don't you come over tonight and discuss financial planning with some people I know. In the meantime, just go home, lock your doors, and don't give anything to anybody. Well, what if one of those guys comes around claiming to need money for an operation? Threaten to call the police. Good idea. Dad, I'm calling! Since my 
cat died at my house seemed so empty. Yeah, that's because he was huge. <laughs> I hope you're not calling General Lee fat. Come on. He must have weighed, what, 30 pounds? 37, but he was big boned. <laughs> you want to see a picture of his headstone? You gave him a funeral. Yeah. I wrote the epitaph myself. General Lee, General Lee, big old ball of fluff. He's <laughs> gone to kitty heaven where there's balls of yarn and stuff. I sure am gonna miss that big old hairball. Well, Laverne, have you thought about getting a new cat? Don't you think replacing General Lee so soon after his demise would be a little bit insensitive? No, not really. <laughs> you always hated him, didn't you? I did not. He just scared me with that lopsided head of his. <laughs> One eye always squinted shut. Dr. Douglas, I would appreciate it if you would show a little more respect for my beloved pet's memory. Oh, Laverne, I wasn't being disrespectful. This would be disrespectful. <laughs> General Lee. <laughs> so what I'd like to do for you is develop a highly diversified stock portfolio, primarily blue chip, whose yield will be consistent in the long term while keeping your risks to an absolute minimum. Any questions, Mr. Dietz? What are you wearing under that? <laughs> Mr. Dietz, I'm talking about a dynamic, exciting insurance package. <laughs> As we like to say in the insurance business, insurance is your best insurance. <laughs> now, here's the exciting part. <laughs> Mix well and let stand 30 minutes before applying cleansing mask to face. Okay, now where's my timer? So, this is how the other half lives, huh? Daddy, it's the millionaire moron! <laughs> Ooh, guacamole! Charlie! What? There's chips in the cabinet. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, hey, Harry. Finally figured out what to do with my money. What? Well, everybody's after it, right? Your investment guys, people calling me up in the middle of the night. Well, nobody's going to get it. I outfoxed them all. <laughs> what are you talking about, Charlie? What did you do? Today, I sank everything into real estate. You, you bought property? No, I buried my money. <laughs> you buried it? Where? My backyard. Oh, damn. <laughs> Okay, you dragged it out of me. But you don't know where in my backyard. And don't try picking my brain. I think you'll find it's of no use. Charlie, I'm sure you have some inane, demented logic behind this. Of course. This way, it's safe, it's easy to get to. Plus, I found a really cool worm. I got a map and everything. Let me see that. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, I don't. Why, do you think... I want your money? Harry, you said it yourself. Everybody's got their hand out. And may I say, you're a tall man with extremely large hands. You have the nerve to call me a thief after all I've done for you? By God, I've treated you like a... human. Sure, just buttering me up, waiting for some rich Belgian woman to die and leave me a fortune. Get out of my house. Truth hurts, huh? I'm giving you three seconds, Charlie, to get out of my house. Fine. I'll just time that on my new state-of-the-art Rolex. <laughs> Tolex? <laughs> Dad! Charlie?
Charlie. I told you, I don't want you in this house until you apologize. I should apologize. You're the one who sent your spy over the last two nights. What spy? I think you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> don't give me those eyebrows. I saw you digging in my yard. How do you explain that, Harry? I don't know. He's a dog? <laughs> you have an answer for everything, don't you? Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. You're losing it. How long has it been since you've slept? It's been days, Harry. I just sit by the window eating beef jerky, watching for intruders with my infrared binoculars from Sharper Image. <laughs> Harry, this money's making me crazy. I know, Charlie, and it has to stop. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about you. You are? Naturally. You may be a lunatic, but you're still my closest neighbor. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. And I'm sorry for the way I'm acting. I know you're really my friend, and I apologize for insulting you. Okay, all right. Let's, let's, let's just forget about it, all right? There you go. All right, now. Now, what are you going to do with the cash? So oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, doctors, I got something to show you. I was just over to the pet cemetery to visit General Lee. Uh, he's, he's, he's not in there, is he? <laughs> Doctor, you best lay off them Stephen King books. I went to tell him I was in need of companionship and gonna get me a pet. Of course, I ain't ready for another kitty yet, so I got me this instead from Pets and Things. Is that a, a pet or a thing? It's a damn dinosaur. No, it ain't. It's an iguana. You want to hold it? No, of it's fine. Of course I don't want to hold it. Oh, sweet. Come on. Right. Come here, Leonard. Don't let him out of the box. Oh, oh. 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 And you have no idea what this is all about. All Charlie said was he wanted us all here at 7 o'clock and he'd be over with a surprise. This better be good. I'm missing a big night at Shady Pines. It's the wheelchair demolition derby. Can I help you? I don't know. My name is Peter Beck, and some messenger brought me a note to meet a Charlie Dietz here at 7 o'clock. Claims to be a former student of mine. Uh, uh, um, Harry Watson, come on in. Oh, hi, Harry. Oh, so, um, you're a teacher. No, uh, coach. The George S. Patton Junior High. Retired. I got a plate in my head. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Koontz. Mrs. Koontz. Coach, you came. <laughs> Who are you? It's me, Charlie. Remember? All through junior high, I couldn't climb the rope. So every gym class, you'd stand under me snapping a towel till I finally did it. Just a hot second. You're red-ass deets. <laughs> right. And I still treasure the lesson you taught me. Keep trying. What lesson? We did that towel thing just for giggles. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, uh, what is all this about? Well, all of you have done nice things for me and my wife. Harry, Carol, you treat me like family. And Sophia, last week at the track, when you lent me $20, it really meant a lot. I never lent you any $20. Actually, I took it from your purse when you weren't looking. <laughs> Great. I almost had my roommate's kneecaps broken. I hope I can get the deposit back. And I gave Charlie his first job. He was the cutest little delivery boy. And such a fast learner. <laughs> Best job I ever had. Well, I hope that's who I hope it is. Who's that? The one person I could always count on as a kid. The person who was always there no matter what. Maxwell Smart. Dietz? Charlie Dietz? Oh, my God, you're really here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maxwell Smart in person. Uh, I'm Charlie Dietz. Uh, look, Dietz, 
My name is Don Adams. Maxwell Smart was merely a character that I played on TV. So let's use my real name, okay? Sure thing, 86. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, I used to wait all week for Get Smart. You were my best friend. <laughs> Don't leave me alone with them. I'm Carol Weston, Don. I was quite a fan, too. In fact, I used to do an impression of you, didn't I, Daddy? Uh, honey, I wouldn't want to. It was rather good. Everyone that. said so. <laughs> okay, here goes. <laughs> Sorry about that, Chief. You're gifted. <laughs> Yeah, fine. Uh, Charlie, um, now can you tell us what's going on? Oh, okay, everybody, sit down. Uh, I'm throwing a party for all the people who have enriched me through the years. I want to make you guys as happy as you made me. Did you pay my agent? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, everybody, listen up. We're going to go to the most wonderful place in the whole world. I am not setting foot in crotch dusters. <laughs> This is way better than crotch dusters. We're going to Mardi Gras. Oh. Missed it by that much. <laughs> I'm in hell. We're gonna spend the whole weekend in New Orleans. I got the rooms all booked. I got seven first class tickets and the limo's gonna pick us up in, um, soon. <laughs> Charlie, do you know how much this is going to cost? Hey, it's not like I don't have the money. It'll be great. Bourbon Street. Jazz. Transvestites. <laughs> Come on, Harry, what do you say? It's important to me. I mean, okay, Charlie, if, you know, if that's what you want. Great. What do you say, Coach? Is she going? I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a plate in my head. <laughs> Great, come on, everybody, let's get packed. Oh, here we go. So, uh, could you say it once? What? You know, would you believe? I didn't say that. Maxwell Smart said that. I never say that. <laughs> would you believe I really say that? <laughs> Who <laughs> are you, Matt Skittish, this morning? Well, that's only because Godzilla's running around loose somewhere. No, we ain't. I caught him in the coffee machine this morning. <laughs> Besides, I don't know what you're so worried about. Iguanas don't bite anyway. Ugly can kill, too. <laughs> oh, there you are. Mrs. Coover, what do you do? Uh, Dr. Douglas is my neighbor, Mrs. Coover. Oh, please, let's dispense with the pleasantries. I came to tell you to keep that cat of yours locked up. My cat? My, my cat has passed on. Well, before he went, he passed on something to my Siamese. <laughs> she had a litter two weeks ago. Well, I'm not surprised everybody in the neighborhood knows that Princess Tonga of yours is nothing but a tramp. <laughs> How you know it was my cat? What done the deed? I got proof. I managed to get rid of all of the kittens except this one. People fear it. <laughs> oh, my lord, it is the spitting image of General Lee. Looks more like the elephant cat. Beg your pardon? Uh, I said that's one hell of a cat. <laughs> Mrs. Coover, could, could I have the little fella? You'd actually take this beast? How does ten dollars sound? Can I write you a check? <laughs> Like Mardi Gras. So everybody had a good time, huh? Would you believe a great time? <laughs> Will you stop that? Don seemed to enjoy it. Yeah, that's why he dumped his gumbo on you. It was an accident, Daddy. Besides, he missed me by that much. <laughs> Charlie, I had the absolute time of my life. Oh, it was all too magnificent and you're much too generous and thank you this is the real world now <laughs> oh charlie thanks loads son of a gun we had big fun on the bayou wait i got one last surprise memory books oh, oh, 
Charlie, 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 Charl